As an English teacher, this is an all too familiar site. You have a ton of papers to get through, and more than that, you want a conference with each one of your students in the classroom. But just how do you do that with all the time constraints? Well, digital conferencing and Google Drive can do just that. So many of us use Google Classroom, and whenever you use Google Classroom to create an assignment and you have students turn in the work there, it goes to a folder in your Google Drive called Classroom. And within that Classroom folder, you have all your individual classes and all of their assignments. So take a look, here's one of my classes, and you can see all the assignments have their own folder, and if you click on a folder, you're gonna see all of your students' work. At least you don't have to physically lug all those papers back and forth. They're all right here, nice and neat for you. So let's talk about how we can use this for digital conferencing. Let's click on a paper and I'll show you what I mean. Here you can see a student's rough draft of a research paper. I can see what they've written, but I can't see the whole story. I want to see just how long a student's worked on their paper. That's easy to do when you're looking at it in Google Docs. So if I go to File, I can go to See Revision History, and I'm going to be able to see exactly how much that the student has worked on their paper. And more than that, if I click on a specific time, I can see what they did during that time. I can see what they've changed, I can see what they've added, and I can see exactly their process that they went through when they were writing their paper. That's pretty cool, and it's pretty powerful. I can go back to a specific revision, and I can kind of look and see what their thinking was, and I can talk to that student about it. And up in the corner, I can even see how many total edits there were. So he put a lot of effort and a lot of time into his paper. But beyond that, I can simply conference with him right within the same Google Doc. Let me show you how to do that. So now that we're back into the document, let me show you what I mean by digital conferencing. The first thing I want to do is I want to go to the editing tool in the corner. I want to click on the drop down menu and I want to choose suggesting. That way whatever I do within the document is a suggestion and it doesn't change the original document. So now that I've done that, I'm ready to go. I'm reading through his paper, and maybe I want to comment on his thesis statement right here. So I can highlight it and add a comment in the corner. Great thesis. I'm going to add the comment, and then he'll be able to see that highlight, and he'll be able to see my comment. And it's a really cool way for him to be able to interact with what I'm saying. Because over in the corner, you're going to see that there's this Resolve button. And in order for him to get rid of the highlighting, he has to click Resolve. So I know that he's read all the comments that I've made. The same is true if there's a mistake in his paper that I want to sort of draw attention to. I don't necessarily want to do all the work for him, but I do want to maybe do it once or twice, but I don't want him to be able to just dismiss it. So it's really cool. Maybe I think he should get rid of this sentence. I can click it, and it's a suggestion that he deletes this. Now, the student has to interact with that suggestion. It's going to say what I did, and then he either has to accept the suggestion or reject it. And if he accepts it, it will do it, and if he rejects it, it puts it back in there and leaves it alone. He can even respond to me, and we can do this in real time. For example, he might want to know why, so he might ask why, and I can respond to that. It doesn't have to be in real time, but it can be, and either way, we can have this conversation in the margins of his paper. So another way I also draw attention to their mistakes is let's say the student is making the same grammatical mistake over and over. Maybe I fixed it the first time, but now they need to go back and they need to do the work themselves. I might simply just highlight and put a comment where I say check punctuation and that puts the ownership on them to figure out um, how to fix it. I'm drawing attention to it, but they need to put in the work. When the student opens this up, they will see all these marks on their paper along with the comments and the margins, but they can also click on the comments button up in the upper right hand corner and they can open up and see all the comments that have been made. Um, they can also see what they have um, already fixed with the green check marks and they can reply to it again or they can reopen it and maybe they want to figure out a different way to do it. Um, either way, they can revisit those comments and those suggestions. This is a great alternative to face-to-face -to -face conferences within the classroom. We all know how challenging it is to get to every single student within a class period and so this is a great way for students to be able to conference with you and have a running log of all your comments to them where they can respond back to you. So next time you assign an essay, um, have them submit it in Google Drive or Google Classroom and give digital conferencing a try. I guarantee it'll make your life easier.